okay thank you everyone today welcome to this tutorial i am going to show you how you can do sum and also average in excel in two different ways so let us jump in and let us start so let us say for example you want to do total sum of all these uh, columns so all you need just to do you need to click, click equal sign and then you click the function which is sum open bracket click the cell which you want to do total sum full colon and then you click also up to where you want the total to be like that and it will and light and then you click uh, close bracket press enter then you all you need you don't need to do for the others you just need auto fill you click here and then you auto fill like this it will automatically auto fill for the rest average same you click equal you click the uh, the sign or you click the sign that you want to do which is average if average open bracket i want to do average of biology and up to computer so all i need to do is what i just need also to click the colon and then i come here and click computer closing bracket click enter that is the average for this cell and then i click how to fill that is the first thing the second thing now let's say for example you want to do also just total but i want to do the total for this one all of them from andrew to Neymar here down i click on this cell of total come to home i come to auto sum here I click here I click like this sum and then as you can see it has auto fill up to these blank cells and columns and I don't need those ones to appear. So all I just need to do is that I need to drag this. Uh, I need to click here and then I autofill up to here. And then I press enter. It will autofill some for those. And I can autofill this. Same thing average. Click here to average. Come to home. Come to auto sum. Click here. Click average. You can see I will press my cursor here and then it will automatically average for that cell i press enter all i just need to do i need now to auto fill like this that is the sum and that is the average that you can do uh two different ways in excel so guys this is how next time i am going to show you how you can use ie function in excel so let us meet in the next tutorial thank you